Welcome to our episode two of our Gratitude Lifestyle podcast. And today we have a very, very, very special guest on for you guys. She goes by the name of Lauren Zoella and she is coming to us all the way from America. So we're very excited to have her on the show today. Uh, Lauren is the balanced boss herself. She does amazing things. She does amazing podcasts. She has an amazing business accelerators and she's here today to share some of her knowledge and a bit about herself and what she does. So we're very excited to have Lauren on the show today. So Lauren, welcome. Okay. Hey. 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 <laughs> you did it. Welcome, you welcome, to, uh, welcome to the UK. Nice, nice to, to meet you guys. And I'm excited to be here. The team. Yeah, no, very excited to have you. We're quite new to the whole podcast thing, so you're our second guest. So, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's exciting. That's so exciting. I was listening to some of your podcasts, actually, and they're really good. Oh, good. Thank you so much. It's been, pod, you guys are going to love it. Podcasting is, sorry, my cat likes to make appearances and everything. Hey. Today, so she's going to be here. Um, <laughs> podcasting, her name's Ellie. Hello, Ellie. She loves, yeah, and she loves the camera. Like loves the camera, so she'll probably be here quite a bit. But but podcasting is so fun. You guys are gonna be like obsessed with it. It's just really cool to have conversations. If you're the type of person, and it sounds like you guys are, that love to connect with people, it's like the best vehicle in the world. You can connect with. I mean, how cool is it that we're all getting to have a conversation and we're, you know, on other sides of the planet, which is kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're just complete strangers, like not so long ago. So I know. <laughs> so tell us your, a bit about your journey um Lauren. so i am a life and business coach i kind of have a my story starts if we're going to start way back it starts when i was in high school and college i was actually a dancer so i was really heavily into the performing arts and my sophomore year in college i was injured my dance career ended and i kind of spiraled again into that dark place that you were talking about when you lost your brother um, but, but mine was more of a, you know, oh my gosh, this is the only career path that I had chosen for myself. And now it was just stripped for me out of nowhere. So at that time, when I was in college, I decided to leave the college that I was in, go home and try to figure out my next step. Ended up kind of wandering around for a few years, finished a degree in vocal performance. It was something that wasn't related to dance ended up getting a management deal in music and moving to Nashville. And about a year and a half after moving to Nashville and performing with my band here, my management deal fell through. So again, I was kind of in this space of, what am I supposed to do with my life? I have no idea what I want to do. So I did what most people do. I went and I got a corporate job, which in the States, if you don't have anything else that you're going to do and you have a college degree, you just start to apply and cross your fingers that you can get into the corporate world and climb up the ladder. So I did that and was miserable. Did it for about two and a half to three years, was in sales and absolutely hated it, was completely burnt out, didn't enjoy anything. I was like, this is awful. This is not what I thought I was going to be doing with my life. So at that time, I decided I was going to save for a few months. I was going to just stick it out, save what I could, and then I was going to take the leap. And I was just going to leave the corporate world and figure out what my next step was. It was now that I look back on it, it was very reckless. I probably shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but I did. And I left the corporate world and decided that I was going to go back and get my yoga teacher certification. Awesome. So yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll just be a full-time yoga teacher. Not knowing that that's, I could do that, but I wouldn't have any food to put on the table in front of me because in the States, it's really hard. It's really hard to make it as a yoga instructor. We just, they're not paid what they should be paid here in the United States. So decided to go back and get my yoga teacher certification, managed a yoga studio for a while, was really struggling to make ends meet. And I decided, okay, well, I've been in the yoga world for a while. I should open a yoga studio. That should be what I do. That's my purpose and my calling. So I joined with a partner, opened a yoga studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and it was wonderful. 
we had the studio for, it's still, it's still running, but I was involved in it for about two years. But after being in it for about a year, I still felt this, the same feeling that I was having when I lost my dance career, when I lost my band, when I moved to Nashville, when things just, there was a lack of purpose. I just wasn't rooted in anything that felt good. And so I had a friend that recommended I go and see a life coach. So I hired my very first life coach after being, after opening the studio about six months in and my life changed. I tapped into, really tapped into what my purpose really was, which was to help other people impact the world with their own unique gifts. And I started, I was like, I'm going to go back and get my life coaching certification. So I did, took the board exam, started my life coaching practice. And about six months into starting my life coaching practice, my practice started to take off. And I came to this crossroads of, do I want to stay with the yoga studio or do I want to take my coaching full time? And so I sold my share in the yoga studio and I started life coaching full time. I started my practice. Yeah, it was incredible. And in that, in that space of really working with a lot of people and helping them uncover their purpose. The natural progression was that once they tapped into their purpose and their impact, they wanted to build a business around it because they wanted to live in it every day. So yeah. I naturally became a business coach because I was teaching them how I built my practice. So that's kind of how I progressed into being a life and a business coach. So now I help other people build impact-based businesses and really live life to the fullest. Oh, wow, that's actually um, amazing. So, yeah. yeah, what a journey! Yeah, it's been a long one. <laughs> yeah. no, just, it's really you know, when you take risks and then you, you follow your purpose or you put yourself out there, like things start to, to manifest and synchronize, and it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It definitely is. It was, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's you know, when we tell our stories, we tend to highlight the really great parts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There was a lot. And that's why I think what you guys are doing is so beautiful because in order to get really to get to your purpose and get to where you want to be in life, you have to be tapped into gratitude. Like there's no other way. Yeah. You have to have gratitude. So how do you uh, how do you use gratitude? So I have I I have a morning routine every morning that I do regardless of where I am in the world. It's like my non-negotiable self-care item. So I get up every morning at six o'clock and I do a little bit of movement. I pour myself my water and my coffee. I sit down. The first thing that I do is I write, just like you guys were talking about, I write down and highlight three things that I'm grateful for in the morning. And then I go straight into my meditation practice and then I read. So right now I'm working through two books, I'm working through Calling in the One by Catherine Woodward Thomas and The Circle by Laura Day. Um, and I just work through books that are kind of rooted in self-development that help me tap into presence and tap into what I want to manifest for myself. But I always start with gratitude as the first practice because I tend to reflect on those things when I get into my meditation practice, which I really love. And something that I learned a few years ago from a woman named Danielle Lepore. Have you guys heard of Danielle Lepore, by chance? No. No. Okay, so she's, um, she wrote a book called The Desire Map, and she takes your gratitude practice one step further, and she says, it's one thing to write down what you're grateful for, but it's another thing to tune into how those things make you feel. And so that's been something that I've added in with my gratitude practices. You know, it's really easy to say, I'm grateful for my family. Right. Yeah. But what's like, what's the emotional feeling? Feel? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, underneath heightens, it. it heightens the, um, the emotion, the feeling. Yeah. The experience of that gratitude thought, I guess. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome, man. So obviously when you, um, when you want to like find your life purpose or you want to change a career or things like that, I'm sure there's a lot of people who listens to this and find themselves in that position. So, is there any advice you will give or any, um, yeah. cause I'm sure that when you actually do take that step, there's going to be loads of things that, you know, that 
pop up that are difficult and hard and at times you might second guess yourself you might feel like you know is this the right thing to do am I going to make it you know it's, it's a scary thing yeah so actually I mean not to like plug what I do but I have a free workbook called the how do it's called how do I start okay and there's three there's three super powerful exercises in there and it's available on my Instagram it's available on my website it's available anywhere that you go and find me it's available and I think that they're really, there's three powerful steps that you really need to take when you're trying to figure out, okay, it's one thing to take the leap, but if you take the leap and you don't know where you want to go, like I did, you know, <laughs> you could find yourself like floundering around. So the first thing that I always suggest that people do is to sit down with a person in your life that you have had some sort of an impact on, right? And it could be, I get all the time, people are like, well, I haven't impacted anyone. And I'm like, do you have a family? Do you have friends, right? Then you've had somebody that you've impacted. Someone out there loves you, I promise. Find that person and sit down and ask them, how have I impacted your life? And really listen to the exact words that they say to you when they tell you how they have, how you've impacted them. Because it's really hard for us to get out of our own heads to think about how we show up in the world. But when someone else tells you how you have impacted their life, you, that's truth. Like you can't run from that. That's yeah. exactly what it is. So that'll give you, those are what I called planting the seeds into what your impact is. And then the next step to take is to take what you have, what you've gathered from that person and in the workbook, I give you actual interview questions to ask that person. So it's a really powerful exercise. The next step is to then figure out what your zone of genius is. So make a list. What are the things that you're really good at doing? And then what are the things that you love to do? And see where those two things overlap. Because where, that, where they overlap is your sweet spot, right? So if you really love inspiring or you really love public speaking, right? and you're also really good at writing, chances are the middle ground would be that you are a great coach or you would be a great influencer in the space. So it's really, it's, it's good to see what you love to do and where you're really good at doing. That's the second step. That's also outlined in the, in the free download. And then the third step is to just journal about what, going back to the first two exercises, where do you feel called to share a message with the world? Like what is, if you were going to die tomorrow, <laughs> what is the one message that you would want to share? Right. And it can be something as simple as, you know, everyone deserves love, right? Whatever that message is, that is really in your heart. That's the first place to start because from there, when you're rooted in impact and you know how you want to show up for people in the world, the sky is the limit then you can start to build a business on it. But those three steps, all three of those steps are outlined in that, in that note, in that free workbook. And it's, it'll give you journal questions. It gives you the zone of genius exercise. It gives you the interview questions and it'll really give you kind of a full circle look at why you're here and how you're supposed to show up in the world. Amazing. That sounds Good. absolutely incredible. Thank, no, you. thank you for sharing that. That's uh, definitely definitely gets you thinking I think one of the things I've I focus on and I suppose I where you're actually taking it back a step and then viewing it I try and say try and live try and live life without a regret right so mm. obviously when you get to that day and you pass away you don't want to or you're in your deathbed or whatever you want to call it you don't want to look back and think oh I should have done this and I should have done that so that's the sort of concept I sort of look at um, but uh, yeah, no, it's really powerful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's a beautiful thing too. It's incredible to me how many people live on autopilot, you know, like they yeah. just, they live with regret all day long and they just wake up and they're unfulfilled and they go to their work. They work nine to five, they come home, they pour themselves a big glass of wine to numb out and they go to bed and they do the same thing. And they're so, you know, they're, they get to 55 years old and they haven't done anything yeah yeah and then there's so many regrets and then you're thinking what if or what if i had been this or i should have done that and then by then it's too late 
people need, people need this type of work right now. Like they're, they're at home. The, the whole world is at home for the most part. Like they're not leaving their homes. They want connection. They want to learn new things. They want to start. I was reading something the other day that spirituality and self-help based programs, coaches, teachers, the margin in and of itself has increased by 62%. Like people are really into self-help right now because they're at home. They're kind of being forced to, you know? So yeah, this would be the perfect time to lay it out and get it launched. Wow, yeah, definitely. It's definitely Sorry. something that we've got to consider, yeah. 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 We, 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 our aim, you know, just to help as many people as we can. And then, <laughs> right. Get the message as far and wide as we can. So yeah. the, the other thing as well, knowing that there's an element of projects, the gratitude projects, and we've got visual proof of what we're doing as well. And obviously the more we do, that's going to obviously, that will create an attraction anyway, I, would, I think. And like you said, we've are we're fully aware that our, our three of our energies together is a is a strong force. You know, we know that it can it can make a big impact. Um, so yeah, no, it's good. That's definitely when you when you say the word when you say um, an impact for business. Do you think is that sort of something like us? What we're doing is an it's a business that that has an impact. Or are you talking about life coaching in general? No, it would be it would be something like you guys. So anybody that's rooted in something that. So I don't bring businesses into my coaching business who are just interested in making money, right? Like yeah. I need, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, because I am so heavily rooted in impact and I believe in the ripple effect, like the more people I impact, I want them to be impacting people so that it's just spreading. Like we're yeah, really yeah, changing sure. the world. So yeah, it's coaches, consultants, service-based business owners, guys like you. You guys who have a product that they're trying to push. I mean, anybody that's rooted in something that's bigger than just making money and starting yeah, a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. I want to make an angle. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. So, Lauren, is there anything else you want to discuss about yourself? <laughs> and, well, with this opportunity. I'm trying to think. Um, for I guess for the people that are listening, what I have going on right now, I can kind of you know, talk about what I've got going on if anybody wants to take advantage of it. So I'm always, I keep my doors open for, you know, the business accelerator program that I actually just talked about. The group program starts August 15th. I also have a mastermind for um, business owners and coaches who have made it to the six figure level and they're ready to scale to the seven figure level. So they're ready to start hiring a team they're ready to start really putting together a sales team and put together systems so that they can work more on the business instead of in the business. Um, that mastermind, I limit it to 15 spots and it runs for six months. So that the next round of that actually begins on August 17th, August 17th, that Wednesday. Um, so that's what I've got going on. I have a podcast called the Balance Boss Podcast, which I need to have you guys on the podcast. <laughs> absolutely that's we what you love that we'd love to yeah, yeah. For, sure. for sure that needs to happen next so i'll get <laughs> well, i'll get my assistant to send you guys an email we'll get that booked um but yeah other than that you know if you are in a business that has impact and you're ready to take it to the next level and impact more people's lives i'd love to to talk to you oh, amazing thank you very much for uh, sharing sharing uh, your experiences and 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 your journey as well has been amazing. So, yeah, yeah. You're not and we'll be more than happy to join you on your on your podcast. And I would yes. love it. Thank you very yeah. much. We're gonna put all your um, details in the link below where you can find your podcast, your business accelerators, everything to do with you. So, uh, we just want to say a massive thank you. Awesome! It was so great talking to you guys. I wish I could come through the phone and hug, give <laughs> hugs to everybody. And thank you. For coming to another another episode of Gratitude Lifestyle Podcasts. Mm -hmm.